Cheery the Hummingbird by Joe Blake, a book about empathy and kindness. Whizzing through the rainforest at 100 miles an hour, a small, sparkly hummingbird searched for a flower. Cheery darted dangerously from place to place, never looking to see if there was any space. Cheery flew like a crazy bird in all kinds of weathers. He enjoyed his speed and the wind in his feathers. Grrr! His tummy rumbled. He found it hard to think. He decided he was hungry and needed a drink. Nectar for my tummy will give the strength I need. I will drink my fill, won't drop a spill. This will increase my speed. Cheery took without asking from every open flower, draining them and buzzing with super flower power. Cheery drank his fill and carried on with his day. Not knowing his mistake, he flew off to play. Because no please nor thank you from Cheery was heard, the flowers made a plan to teach that rude bird. The next morning the sky had a warm yellow glow. Cheery whizzed around his friends, knocking one who flew too slow. Move out of the way, come on, I need to go. The fastest bird ever here, I'm hungry, you know. Cheery halted at the flowers he'd already guzzled dry, with a look of confusion dancing across his eyes. The petals were closed with no stamens to be seen. How can I drink the nectar if I can't get in between? Word had spread of the bird with no manners. These petals can't be opened even with spanners. What am I going to do? Finally Cheery stops, flopping down on a branch below the tree tops. Cheery's friends saw him pause. He never sits still. Are you not playing today? He must be ill. What have I done wrong? No flowers open for me. I'm hungry and tired, he said sadly. You've upset the birds and flowers darting from place to place. Why don't you use your manners and try a slower pace? He took time and listened to his friend's advice. Cheery realized he hadn't been very nice. I need to say sorry to those I've offended. My broken friendships must be mended. Hovering up to the flowers, he waited patiently. One by one they opened, whispering quietly. I have come to say I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You have learned your lesson. We can clearly see. Please, may I have some nectar? This time I won't be greedy. His wings had begun to softly hum, now that he flew less speedy. Thank you, beautiful flowers. You're as kind as can be. Cheery had learned his manners. He flew off happily. He sped up to Ollie Owl, then slowed. It's not a race. Sorry for knocking you. A smile filled Ollie's face. A small, sparkly hummingbird, sipping from flower to flower, now uses manners to give him superpower. The End